हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक समथिंग अबाउट अगेन दिस जियो फाई टू डिवाइस सो हैव यू नो दैट दिस डिवाइस कैन यूज एज अ वाई फाई स्टोरेज सो ओके सो या वॉट वी ऑल हैव सीन दैट दिस डिवाइस कैन बी यूज एज अ वाई फाई स्टोरेज बट हैव यू एवर यूज इट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज योर जियो फाई टू डिवाइस to store data your any kind of data wifi uh, wirelessly into this device so first of all i would like to tell you that this device have a card slot so you have seen that you have inserted your sim card over a uh, sim card slot a uh, one more slot is there which is meant for your sd card so basically this device uh, support your 32 gb up to 32 gb memory card so it's very good thing friends so it's very exciting that now you can store uh, your data uh, from multiple device to this device and that data limits up to 32 gb so it's a good thing so you can easily uh, upload all your photograph your uh, uh, videos your document and all these things you can easily up and uh, just Uh, upload it into this Wi-Fi. Uh, like you can use it like a Wi-Fi hard disk or something like. Uh, okay, so you can say that it's having a limited capacity, so it's okay. So first of all, you need to insert your memory card. Memory card, what we have, you have inserted, and then you need to insert your data card, micro SD data card into this slot. So I am zooming it into this slot below tick mark. You need to insert a. Uh, Up to thirty two GB. So whatsoever you are having, uh, so up to thirty two GB, you are going to insert a micro SD card into a device. Now after inserting a device, your device will become just something like this. Your device will become a Wi-Fi hard disk. So now you can transfer your data from your iPad, your tablets, your mobile, your laptop. Even though if you are having some wireless network, so computer and iPhone, all these things can be attached. So here you can see. Uh, a network over there so a card has been inserted into that now you can connect all these device you can send all these data to your geo fi to device through laptop through mobile and all these things and even though it this device have one more slot so that slot is your micro sd card so sorry it's a your micro usb slot so you can type a slot so you can convert this to regular usb and then uh, through otg cable then again through that otg cable you can again connect all these storage device so that can also be possible but i have not tested it yet so that might be possible so today we are going to talk about how we can use by inserting a card into that and how we can use my geo fi device as an your storage device wifi storage device so i have inserted a uh, uh, 16 gb card so I, i do have a 16 gb card so that's why i have inserted my 16 gb card into my this device so now look how to do that so first of all you need to go to you need to connect uh, to your geo fi device so once you are you got connected through wifi network through so my wifi geo fi network name is skynet so i have connected through it so like that so you need to connect your device whatever device you want so you need to connect your device to your wifi network through geo fi device then you need to do that just go to explorer go to your internet explorer so like chrome and now on url you need to type a url like uh, whatsoever url is there so geo that geo loc geo fi dot local dot st ml so that address you need to type out so after typing it press enter so now you are connected to your geo fi device now i have my password so login go to login window so and login uh, over there the username for all devices are administrator and password uh, whatsoever is your password device password so by default the device password is administrator so you can either you if you have changed your password so you need to insert your new password otherwise uh, your default password will be your administrator so now log in to your device after log in so you are going to see uh, you are going to be there at connection page 
or at a status page so this is status shows that ILT is activated and all these things so now go move to the setting so just after in this setting you have moved to setting so after moving to setting you need to go to storage first in storage there is one thing that is that is known as storage mode so you need to do that you need to set that storage mode to Wi-Fi storage okay so it's very clear you need to tap on Wi-Fi storage so just tap on Wi-Fi storage and apply so now it's applied so this is applied now uh, after that uh, go to your uh, once applied go to your Wi-Fi disk so it will take certain time go to just go to your Wi-Fi disk okay update update it apply and update and now go to your Wi-Fi disk so here it is going okay so now I am in my Wi-Fi disk so in Wi-Fi disk uh, so now uh, this page shows that I am inside uh, my card my micro SD card which I which is of 16 GB so this is a, a proper these are the property of this so create if you want then uh, you can also create one folder so like an example I have created one folder like letv one s data because I am using that mobile so whatsoever folder you want to um, uh, add over there so you can add in your video and photograph inside a folder through by using this upload button so on a rightmost corner you can see that there is a upload button so by clicking on that and by selecting the file you can directly upload to the main folder or if you want to upload it inside some specific folder so first you need to create a folder uh, like this I have created LTV 1S data so I have given two images over there now I want to add upload more file from my mobile like this mobile or you can do it uh, same you can do it on laptop and all other devices so now I am going to upload it so press click on upload so what type of document it is going to uh, show so what do you want to upload so like a doc document so your gallery will be inside your document so like document I have tap tapped on document so it is going to show my recent document and all these things so whatsoever camera so no uh, okay I want to move to some other video audio images camera so for, for wherever like in gallery so from gallery you can also upload all these things it's quite easy so images you can upload so for an example I am going to upload this polymer this uh, this image so it is going to show that its size is 3.7 MB so just uh, go and do start it's starting and then now it's okay so it's being uploaded so the file name is uh, you can see that this jpg file so there should be some three file inside that so you can see that okay so now you can see that there are three files so like that you can upload a numerous type of data and a lot of data you can save into that so that data will be saved wirelessly and that data will be saved like images and all these things your document and all these things so without connecting anything without doing a wiring thing you can do that thing so thank you friends thanks for watching my video so please 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 and please uh, like it and subscribe it subscribe my channel this is tag gurus so i will be there for your queries and question okay friends so thank you and once again i would like to say that um, please do subscribe my videos and all these things